What's up? And welcome to this tutorial video of how to use Faith Life's Proclaim presentation software. This video is specifically for Portland Avenue Baptist Church in Oklahoma City, but anyone should be able to watch this video and learn a few things about how to set up a basic, simple church service um, for a typical Sunday. Uh, so uh, if you're watching this and you're from Portland Avenue Baptist Church, we're super stoked that you want to be a part of our media team, and we're really excited uh, to see how God is going to use you in that role. But again, this is going to be a tutorial video of how to set up our church services um, with just the bare bones needed um, to get through you know, the Sunday service. So um, the first thing that I want you to see is that I'm working from home, so I'm using a MacBook. Our presentation computer in, uh, in the sanctuary is a Windows PC. So it's going to look slightly different uh, than what you see on my screen, but it should be similar enough that you should be able to follow everything that's going on for sure without a problem. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to locate the Proclaim software. So on your desktop, you should see a little green um, icon that looks like this. It's green and it has a little speech bubble in it. That's Proclaim software. So we need to go ahead and click on that um, application to go ahead and open it up and we'll get started setting up our service. So this is Proclaim's uh, software and this is where everything is going to be built. Um, songs, uh, sermon slides, um, verses, Bible verses, things like that. Um, so if you look over here to the left, the first thing that I want you to see is that there, are, there are four different sections here. Um, Pre-service loop, warm-up, service, post-service loop. These all serve different purposes, okay? So the pre-service loop is for um, the slides that run before the service with um, announcements, upcoming events and dates and things like that. Um, that's what we see before the service. And then the warm-up is something that we don't typically use, but a lot of churches use it. Um, and it's typically used for like a countdown, like if you want to show a certain video right before service starts, or if you want to show a few things, a few certain slides right before service starts, you can do that on the warm-up um, section here. And then obviously the service section is um, where the majority of our stuff is going to go. So that's, um, you know, song lyrics, that's the sermon slides, that's the benediction verse, um, that's the sermon intro video, things like that. Um, and the post-service loop is the exact same thing as the pre-service loop, obviously, except just right at the end of service. So um, what I do, uh, well, first off, uh, let's go ahead and click File. We can click New, and we're going to start with a blank slate. So you can come over here and click Blank Presentation, and this will start a new presentation for us. Now, Proclaim uses a cloud-based system. So what that means is um, everyone that has Proclaim software that is a part of our Portland Avenue group can see the presentation that you're working on. Um, it'll automatically sync um, and people can come in and add their own things. So we need to be really specific about um, how we title our services so that we, everyone knows what that service is going to be used for. Okay. So, um, for example, what I like to do is I like to title the service or title the presentation with the date that that presentation is going to be used. So, let's say today is September the 30th. We're going to set up a presentation for Sunday, October the 2nd. So, what you can do is you can come in here to the title and type in October. Oops. October 2nd, 2022, okay? Um, and then right beneath that is a calendar. Um, and what's great about this is you can schedule this presentation, okay? You can schedule it for several weeks out. Like if you wanted to, um, if you have a big, I don't know, a big um, event coming up that you, you're you gonna have to add a lot of things and it's gonna take a while, you can schedule this for several weeks out um, and work on it and then have someone else jump in and work on it and things like that. Um, so you want to schedule it on the appropriate day. So we're going to schedule this for October the 2nd, 
um, this upcoming Sunday. Okay. So I think that songs are probably the most time consuming thing to set up um, for our church. So I typically um, will set up songs first because they take the longest um, and, and it takes a lot of time to make them functional and to make them visually acceptable um, to put on um, our presentation. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, let's go ahead and click add item up here at the top left and you can click song and proclaim has a uh, proclaim will search a database of multiple databases worth of songs and will pre-populate lyrics and song order for you so it's really super awesome and easy um, and helpful so once you click add item and click song you'll see a search bar here let's just search for I don't know 10,000 reasons okay 10,000 reasons right here and actually let's do this right here we can use this one okay um, we'll click add song and you'll see that um, the lyrics are already populated in here and ready to go super easy um, but I mean we're gonna have to do some things to make this um, presentable so your 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 lyrics are over here on the left and then what you will see on the presentation screens over here on the right um, since our presentation screen is in a 4-3 format what that means is it's almost it's basically a box and so we don't have a lot of room uh, horizontally to put our lyrics so what I do is I expand this text box all the way out to the edges so we can go ahead and do that right now um, and you'll notice that it does it for every single slide following that one uh, so that's great uh, we don't have to do that multiple times so we've extended the text box to the edge now typically in, in 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 creating songs you don't want more than three lines I mean you can do four lines but it doesn't look great you don't want anything more than three lines um, and two lines is really ideal so the way you separate these out into different slides and separate these lines out into different slides is you can come over here and add text breaks okay so um, let's say you know we just wanted these two lines so what you can do is you can put your cursor there and press enter and that will separate those into two different slides super great super easy um, and look at let's look at verse one let's do the same thing we only want two lines okay um, easy okay so those, those have been separated but here's the deal anytime you open up a song and proclaim for whatever reason it always left justifies your text we'll never have a song where we present it as left justified we want our text to be centered on our screen so the way you can do that is you can click in this text box over here and then at the top you'll see your alignment tool and you can center those lyrics and it will do this for every single lyric here in every single slide following so that's um, that's great um, but now I mean this is probably going to be too small for our congregation to see so we're gonna have to work on the text size and um, the text weight um, so our screens are so far away and they're so big um, that um, the 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 ideal font size for us is any, anywhere between 80 and 90 point fonts okay so the way you can adjust the font size is in this text box up at the top you can see your font size right here let's go ahead and click or let's go ahead and type in 85 okay um, and so that'll make the text a lot bigger so that's looking better but a lot of times when you adjust the font size you'll get this red warning and it'll say one or more lines on this item have been scaled to fit the slide add a line break to refine the layout what this means is um, since we increase the font size the horizontal uh, th there are some lines that are so long that they can't um, meet that font size so they shrink it down in order for it to fit across the screen so let's go find one for an example so right here it says 
The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. You should see that this first line right here, the sun comes up, it's a new day dawning, is smaller than this line right here. It's time to sing your song again. So the way we can fix that is we can add a, another line break. Um, so we can do this, backspace, and press enter, and make it three lines. And that will fix um, the font scaling issue really easy. Um, here's another example. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me is a lot smaller than let me be singing when the evening comes. So um, we can add another line. Um, now that definitely looks funky. Um, what we can do is we can add a fourth line if we want to, um, but that's not super ideal. Sometimes, it, I mean, you can make it work, but it doesn't look great. So I'd probably add a page break there. Um, so that looks better. Uh, but still, we have a little ways to go. Um, with our screens the way they are, it always looks best to make the font heavier and thicker. Okay? Always. Um, so the way you can do that is up here at the, at the top. You can click bold and black. Um, I typically go with the thickest font option available. So let's go ahead and click black. So that looks better. People are going to be able to see that really well. Um, and then another thing that I do is I just capitalize all fonts. So the way you can do that is right up here. Is you can click um, this all caps button and it'll make it all caps. Um, but again, you, we're going to get some scaling issues with that. So we can just make a few edits here and correct it. And it'll be good. Okay. Um, and so we'll, we would go through the whole song and do that on a typical Sunday um, and make sure they look, uh, make sure it looks good. Um, but now uh, let's, let's imagine that we've figured everything out and all the lyrics are ready to go and all the fonts look good and things like that. But we can't just throw up a black screen with white letters. We need, uh, we typically have motion backgrounds. And so the way you add a motion to the background is over here at the top right, You'll see this background button. What you can do is you can click Browse Media. And for our church and for our account, I've created a board up here at the top left titled Motion Backgrounds. Okay, This is going to hold all of our motions um, for our um, worship songs. So you can scroll through here and find one that you like. Um, and so when you find one, you need to make sure that you don't just double click it. Find one and click on it once. Um, if you double click on it, it will add it as another line item on the service here, and that's not what you want. So click on it once, and then you can come over here and click Apply as Background, and it will apply it. It will apply it um, to the worship slides. Super great. Um, one other thing that I want to show you though is that if if you just throw this on there, it's you'll notice that it's not all it's not full screen okay so you're going to have black bars up at the top and black bars at the bottom so we need to correct that so it'll look good uh, we want our motion background to fill the screen so up at the top again you can click background and right under where it says fit to height right, right under where it says image position fit to height you can click center and what you'll notice is it fills the screen now super great um, so, um, our, our, our songs looking good, but let's say like, you know, um, this is all out of order. If you look in these te in, in this text box, um, it's not in order. Um, and the reason that is, is because proclaim follows this right here up here is what proclaim follows for the song order. Um, it looks at these titles. So look, look at this real quick. It says chorus one, and then it has the chorus written out. And then it says verse one, and then it has the verse written out. What Proclaim is doing is it will look um, at those titles, and you can reorder the song based on these titles. It's great. We don't have to you know, add all the text in for every single chorus you know, going forward. What you can do is you can just... For example, if you wanted to sing the chorus again after verse 1, 
you can click behind verse one and type in chorus one comma and you'll scroll down here and you'll find um, after verse one a chorus has been added okay um, let me show you another example let's say you didn't this song typically starts with the chorus but let's say you didn't want the chorus to start the song so all you all you have to do is erase chorus one and you'll look over to the right and you'll notice that now the song starts with verse one okay so that's how proclaim orders its songs and it's really convenient and really easy so all you have to do is go in there and type um, type the order that you want super great um, but we're not just we're not done just yet so once we got the order once we have it looking good once we have a motion background we're not done just yet we run a live stream um, and so we want the lyrics on the live stream so um, and we don't want it to just look like this we want the lyrics as a lower third on the uh, on the live stream with just the words we don't need anything else just the words as a lower third so what you need to do to make that happen is you look at you can look at the top and you'll see these tabs up here you can click live stream and this will bring you to our live stream presentation here so it you'll notice that it looks exactly exactly like um, our slides right um, but we don't want that on the live stream what we want is just the words so what you'll have to do is you'll come up here and you'll click remove background and that will take away the the motion background back there and you will be left with just the lyrics and now just the lyrics will be sent over to our live stream computer um, and our live stream computer is programmed to pull it down to the bottom so that it looks like a lower third um, graphic. If you want to get technical, what you could do, which you don't need to do, but what you could do is you could come down here and you could resize the text box for just the live stream and it will adjust it on the live stream and just send this image. So the image will actually be a lower third sent over. But we don't do that. Don't worry about that. It's already programmed to do that. So um, that's how you get the words on the live stream. Really easy. The thing that does suck about this is that you have to do this for every single song. So if you added in another song and you got it all set up, you'd for that new song, you have to come over to the live stream and click remove background. Um, but it's just one click of a button. Not really that hard. But that's how you set up a song. Um, so now let's say we've set up all of our songs. We're ready to go on our on our music. Now we need to add um, our sermon slides. So the way we do this, at least the way Portland Avenue does this, um, is we upload all of our sermon slides to our Google Drive. So what you can do on the media computer in our church, you can go to drive.google.com. Um, I should already be logged in there. Um, I have to switch my account here. But go to drive.google.com and over here at the left, you can click um, shared drive when it pops up for whatever reason. It's not popping up. There it is. You can click shared drives. And then um, you can click PABC staff. And obviously, our media com computer is going to have access to this. So um, after you do that, you can scroll down to the uh, scroll down a ways and you can find the media booth folder. This is where our pastor uploads every uh, all of his sermon slides. So um, like for example, if we were if we were wanting to pull the mark 1 9 through 13 sermon slides, what you can do is you can right click and click download and that will download those slides um, to the computer once that is done uh, you can come in here and um, to add our sermon slides you can come up to the top of proclaim and click add item you need to come all the way to the bottom and click import item keynote slash PowerPoint and this will pull up our document um, finder 
And let's see, where is it at? Okay, so here's our PowerPoint right here. You just have to find it and locate it, and you can double click it and import it. Now, on the Media Booth computer at the church, you'll have two options here. One will say convert to images, the next one will say use PowerPoint or transfer control to PowerPoint. What you need to do is you need to click convert to images because if you transfer control to PowerPoint, what that means is these slides can only show up on this computer. Um, but we are connected, our, 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 our um, service is connected to the live, to, to the lobby TVs out there. So we want the people that are running security, we want the people that are sitting in the lobby for whatever reason, we want them to be able to follow the service as well. And so those slides, even along with the music lyrics, uh, the, the worship lyrics, um, those are sent to the lobby TVs, and we want those people out there to be able to par participate in our service. So um, if you transfer to control the PowerPoint, you won't be able to do that. Okay, so you need to click Convert to Images. Once you do that, you can click Add. And that will bring those slides in and prepare those slides for our presentation. Okay, so now that presentation has been brought in. Okay, and you'll see right here, um, all the slides are in there. Okay, um, presentation is done. The, the sermon slides are, are done. Now we need to add a benediction verse like our church always has. Um, and so that typically comes at the end. So same thing, you're going to come up to the top, click add item. You'll have two options here where one says on screen Bible. We're not going to click that right now. We're just going to click Bible. Okay. And when you do that, it will bring up a search bar up here and you can just look up a reference. So let's look up Mark 1, 9. You can look up any verse that you want um, here and it'll pull it up for you. Um, and here are some examples. So we could click um, this one right here. And it brings up the uh, the verse, the Bible. Um, really easy. If you wanted to edit the um, text in here, it's the exact same way as editing a um, song. So you click in the text box. You can make it bold. You can make it all caps if you want to. Um, change the font. Um, things like that. But typically, we also add a background. So you can do the exact same thing. Find a background that you like, click on it, and then click Apply as Background. And that will add a background to the Bible verses. It's great. Um, but let me show you this. We'll, we, have, we also have an intro video that we'll do um, that, that we do before service. So let me show you how to import that. Um, Again, you can come up and click Add Item, click Video, um, and then we'll click Add Video here, Browse Media. Okay, so you should see a section um, on our boards up at the top left that says Intro Videos. Okay, and you can see these intro videos here. Um, if you want to bring in the intro for quarter three, 2022, you can click there and click Apply to Video Item. Okay, this typically comes first in the service, um, and it's good to go. It's ready to go. So when you click on that, it'll go live. Um, super easy. Uh, that's how you set up a basic presentation. Now, let me show you how to go live and how to operate Proclaim when you're on air or when you're live. Okay, so um, you'll see a screen over to your left that I'm going to pull up. That will serve as like our um, our in in the sanctuary projector screen. Okay, so you should see it right now. Um, and so what's going to happen is um, when I'm ready to go. Okay, what I can do is I can come up here to the top right and click on air. Okay, that will send my presentation to the. Um, screen in the sanctuary now um, it'll it'll start with the first item in the service um, but you can click around wherever you need to go 
So if you're doing a song, it's really easy. You can click on the song and then you can just arrow over. Okay, it's great. Or you can click. If, if the uh, worship leader is jumping around, you can click and skip ahead if you wanted to. Um, it's great. Then if the, you know, we're in the sermon section of our service, you can click through or arrow through the sermon slides. And then you can, when it's time for the benediction, you can pull up the, the verse, things like that. One thing I want to show you is that, um, you know, if there is, if, if we're in our worship part, like we're, there's, we're in our worship part of our service, and there are, there's like a downtime or there's a period of prayer where you don't want the lyrics on there, but you, you just want the background, the motion background. So it's not distracting. People aren't trying to read the lyrics. What you can do is over here to the right, you'll see quick screens. What you can click is you can click no text and that will fade out the words and just leave the background. It's great. Super easy. Um, if you want the text back, you can click that same box and it'll bring the text back. Um, if you want to fade it out to black for whatever reason, there's also a quick screen for black. You can fade it out like that. Um, same thing in the... Um, Sermon slides, there's not a no text option, but there is a black option. You can fade it out um, and then go to last shown. Um, so, yeah, super simple, super easy. Um, I know that's a crash course and we moved really quick, but I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, this is how we set up our service, typically at a very base and simple level. And so um, I hope this video was helpful. If it was helpful, um, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, I'd love that for sure. And it'd really help me out. Um, if there was something that I missed or if there's something that you want me to cover more specifically or in more detail, uh, leave a comment below and I'll try to get to it because I'm hoping to drop some, mo some, some more tutorial videos, um, in the near future for sure. But, um, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great time setting up presentations. Peace.